You know what? I don't like the feeling this week. Like, I don't like it. Everybody liking the Cowboys. People starting to come to our side and talk about how good our defense is. I don't like it. People getting way, way too comfortable. Good people, it's your boy Mr. Rome, Cowboys Fan Talk, right back like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? Happy Thursday. Look, I've been sitting on this for a day or two, you know what I'm saying? Because earlier in the week, short week, Monday night, we had to drop the Giants off. People still underestimating us, not acknowledging our defense and how ferocious it was. Then I had to come out and talk about how ferocious the defense was. You know, talked about how the team is getting healthier. But I'm noticing something that I don't like. It's what happens every year with the Cowboys. The media, who started out doubting us completely, especially when Dak went down, everyone threw dirt on our name. And I like it that way. I like that the majority of our games left were underdogs. You know, but the defense is playing so well. So well. Leading the league in sacks. Leading the league in pressures. Um, Secondary has been airtight. Not as many interceptions, but airtight. Um, only giving up one touchdown in every game. You know, it's one of those things where not a media started to notice. Oh, see, there's two different things going on. One, you got the, the group that's just excited that the success is happening without Dak Prescott. And I'll leave that to another day, another video for another day. I ain't focusing on that today. If you really think that Dak Prescott tripped and fell in the number one offenses multiple times, and 37 touchdowns, you're a psychopath. You know, because I'm still waiting for that time that we get down by 30, and y'all watch, I want to see Cooper Rush throw us back from that. But that's another story for another day. Um, I do not like the complacency. I don't. I don't know what's going on in the locker room. I ain't saying that the players is complacent. I'm saying that the fan base is getting a little too ahead of themselves. And that's funny coming from me, because I'm Captain Stir the Kool-Aid, Captain Hype, but I go off of feeling. That's my superpower. I can just tell when things ain't, and I don't like it. I don't like it. I saw the game of the week picks, NFL Network, and I ain't like it. It was almost a Cowboys sweep. I know Washington looked trash last week. I know our pass rush be looking ferocious. I know D-Law had three sacks. I know we had five and like 18, 19 practice. Something retarded. I get it. So, you know, one plus two should equal dominance. And I'm not saying that the D-line not going to dominate. I'm not saying that Washington's offensive line is epic. I'm not saying that Carson Wentz is nice. I ain't saying nothing. I'm saying, like I said, the Bengals week, any given Sunday. In reverse. You walk in there, when you get embarrassed, especially like offensive line did, and the team just feels embarrassed, and they rolling out their new black jerseys, and they want to make a statement, and they want to show everybody that it wasn't a fluke that they beat Jacksonville because Jacksonville looks good. And they want to, you know, they want to rally their season. This is one of those breaking points. We can break their season right now, make them one and three. But see, Washington ain't going. Washington is going to come out there and play like this is a Super Bowl for them. All of the bad play, like their skill position is lit. McLaurin, Dotson, um, Samuels, they got a good receiving core. Decent tight end. And a quarterback that can be hot and cold. So they're not like completely null and void. That's just offensive line is so just terrible. Defensive line is good, and then their secondary to me is kind of overrated. You know, so both back ends is just kind of overrated. Um, but I just got this gut feeling that we need to stop sleeping. Do not sleep. There is business to be handled. And not to be funny, like, what have we done so far? We have held serve. We have shown resilience. We have not laid down. We have not died. But what have we done so far? We're 2-1. and one. We beat the Bengals. We beat the Giants. We lost to the Bucks, and we lost our quarterback and multiple players to the Bucks. What have we done so far? Nathan Franks. Nothing. Zero. Nada. Donut. Nothing. You got to earn the luxury. We have not earned that luxury yet to be cocky. Now, be confident. Confidence 
preparation, focus leads to dominance. That's what I want my, for my team. Be confident in what you can do. Be focused. You know what I'm saying? Be locked in. That's what I want. But cockiness, not, not right now. No, 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 no. We gotta go smack some, 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 some better opponents. You feel me? And look more dominant doing it before we can walk around feeling cocky. Because at any given moment, in those two games we won, if a ball bounces the wrong direction, we 0 and 3. Let's not forget about that. Go earn the luxury to be confident. Not even to be cocky. But you know what I'm saying? Respect ain't given, it's earned. And we still got a lot, a lot, a lot of respect to go earn. Y'all feeling me? Now, we can get into the X's and O's, seriously, and talk about the dominance and the horribleness across their offensive line. No, no one stands out. Um, the twists and the stunts that um, Dan Quinn is going to use. The fact that the teammates been teasing Micah Parsons all week, telling him that you know he ain't getting no sacks and how locked in he is and how he's ready to go prove a point. Cool. But do remember... The reason why I led earlier talking about Cooper Rush and being down is Carson Wentz, if anything, is a gambler. He'll throw it up for you. And if they mess around and throw, go up 14-0, just hypothetically, 17-0, and then you got to press, and then you got to get out of the run, and then you got to chest pass. See, you haven't seen that version of Cooper Rush yet, so in your mind, you feel like it'll be easy. No, things can get real different. It can get dark early. And I'm not wishing anything bad on Cooper Rush. I want him to dominate. But I want us to go out there focused and not let that scenario happen. I don't never want to see it. I don't like seeing it with Dak. But I have seen us blow teams out by 40 and then get punched in the mouth by Denver and never get up off the mat. That makes sense? Right now, our defense is rolling. But our defense needs to roll out there and not feel invincible. That's for me to say, not for them to feel like. I want the players locked in. And I don't like the first week of the year so far where everybody's on the Cowboys. I don't like it. I'm, I got the temperature of the fan base, and I, I can feel everybody just real cool with the laughing at the commanders. And I'm like, yo, you know what? Because when everybody's zigging, I got a zag, and I just don't feel it. I really feel like we need to lock back in as a fan base, right? It's a 1 p.m. game. This is exactly what happened with Denver. We overlooked Denver. And before we looked up, it was 30 to 0. Still ain't got that taste out of my mouth. Pause. That was a wild game. And right now, I'm feeling like that. I'm feeling like we disrespecting Washington. They're still grown men. These are NFL athletes. And this is a week-to-week -week league. Last week, they chest was not on. We can't expect to go get nine sacks. We need to go earn our first sack. Then earn your second and third sack. Because they're not going to be given to you. Those horrible players got pride, too, and they can't wait to go out there and make a statement versus America's team. That's why I'm saying I don't like it. We got to stop sleeping on the commanders, even though their name is silly and their New Jersey concept is silly and all that. We got to stop sleeping, go put in that work, and earn another day of celebration. Celebrate for a day. Lock back in. Our celebration day ended. It's time to lock back in. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments, man. All I know is this. Our team getting healthier, but I want the focus to stay in the forefront. We ain't got no games to play. We ain't accomplished nothing yet. And like I said, confidence, success is a luxury you got to earn, and we ain't earn nothing. I'll holler.